Your lich lord, after a long day of evil machinations and devouring the souls of the innocent, is going to need a place to rest their weary bones. And today, I'm going to show you how to make a fitting throne for your lich lord, or your drow king or queen, or Asmodeus himself. Doesn't matter. This throne is menacing and fitting for any of your big bad evil guys. So today I'll show you how I made it, and we'll talk about using super glue with foam. I started the throne with these Tropicana juice slids. These are some gems of junk that you can find at your grocery store. The ridging on the sides do an excellent job at mimicking gothic architecture. However, I had to get rid of the Tropicana logo, so I thought I would put some milliput and then just level the milliput out. However, after trying to add water and spread it out evenly, this was very unsuccessful, so I elected to put a thin piece of foam on top. And of course, when life gives you extra milliput, you gotta make loaves of bread. I try to never waste my green stuff or my milliput. You can make little spheres to serve as fruit or pummels of swords. You can make all sorts of things. With the base done, I move to the back of the chair. I cheated here and used a template from Shifting Lands, however you could easily make your own template. To get a nice clean controlled cut, I used my X-Acto knife. I used the template twice, one on a thick piece of foam and one on a thin piece of foam. I then trimmed the sides off the thick piece of foam. This would lay over the thinner, wider piece of foam giving the piece some much needed depth. I then centered the pieces and then trimmed off the bottom to make sure everything was flush. And to make them look like stone, I beveled the corners. To connect the two pieces, I used tacky glue. Hot glue probably would have been a better choice, but lucky for me I had to redo the back so this was a clutch choice. I've always especially liked tacky glue. It holds things pretty well, but it gives you enough time to change things if you have to. Now to start using the super glue. To keep the foam from melting, I add a protective layer of Mod Podge. For this you want to use a liberal amount. Once the Mod Podge dries, it sticks to the foam, and then you can connect the Mod Podge with other Mod Podge with super glue. This gives a very strong bond. And with that protective layer, we can use a liberal amount of super glue. Unfortunately for me, I'd eventually have to take this off. Now when it comes to connecting foam with foam, hot glue might work just as well. However, when it comes to the spikes, this method's gonna be absolutely essential. Hot glue would just create too much of a mess. To get a natural, smooth, carved rock look, I used a lighter. However, with the thin piece connecting to the thick piece, I found it quite difficult. The flame needed to be on the thick piece a little bit longer, and it required only a little bit of time with the flame for the thinner piece. So, you can imagine, I melted the back. Thankfully, I used tacky glue. This was also a great chance to test the bond of the super glue and the Mod Podge, and I was pretty happy with the results. To make the seat, I just cut out a small piece of XPS foam, sized it up, and textured it with flame. Now that I had the structure components finished, I could again add the Mod Podge and connect the pieces with super glue. At 
this point, I thought the throne was starting to look very regal, like the throne of Minas Tirith. However, this was the evil throne, so we had to darken it up. And to do so, I added spikes. To make the spikes, I used dental picks from my grocery store. The best part about using dental picks in your builds is that you can save the floss pick for its intended use. That way you don't have a lot of waste. It wasn't until this point I realized that I needed stairs. To make the stairs, I used my circular cutting jig. This tool is well worth the investment. I've gotten a lot of mileage out of it. To make the different steps, I used different size circles. And to make a cut that would be flush with the piece, I just eyeballed it. Eventually, I would decide that these stairs were too bulky, and I would do this process again with some thinner XPS foam. With these, I didn't bother with the flame. I just beveled the edges and textured them. Not knowing that I'd replace the stairs, I thought that the structure was done and I could add the spikes. And with that, I'm returning back to adding the Mod Podge as a protective layer. Because the spikes are so thin, I needed to have a really, really strong bind. So I used the tried and true method of using super glue and baking soda. With each spike, I made sure that it was secure. If it felt a bit wobbly, I'd add some more baking soda and super glue. Eventually, we'll strengthen this even further. To keep all the spikes symmetrical, I would just lay one behind the one I already attached, mark the top and bottom, draw a line, and make a cut. This is pretty hard plastic, so you only have to start the cut. You can then break it and then file it down. At this point, I just kept adding spikes until I was satisfied, and then with a permanent marker, I added some runes on the back. You can do this even after the Mod Podge is applied. I then took the piece outside and gave it a cohesive base coat of gray spray paint. This is an important step because it adds some further strength. You have one cohesive coat of paint that holds stuff together. After adding a base coat of black acrylic paint, I painted the runes with some watered down bright red. I spread the paint around to make it look like it was glowing. After a conservative dry brush of white, I covered the piece in paint on gloss varnish. This would both make it look like shiny obsidian and give it another level of strength. And there you have it, a fitting evil throne for any dark lord. This piece would be excellent for a throne room encounter, letting your players know that your big bad evil boss means business. And with the glowing runes on the throne, you could throw in a mechanic where if your big bad evil guy is near the throne, they get a stat bonus of some kind. But that's going to wrap it up for today. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Always love to hear from you guys. Take care, stay safe, and keep on crafting, friends.